update on the uh, Hillman Imp wheels, which I'm going to put on the Mini for something a little bit different, a little bit wider. So I've got one of the wheels down there. I now have a set of five actually, thanks to Paul Jeffries for sorting me out. Now another thanks, I've got to thank Mr. Mark Piper, one of the viewers, subscribers, mentioned to me about putting a wheel on the car properly and checking um, that it doesn't foul the front of the wheel arch. So that's a very, very good bit of advice. So I don't know what the offset is there, but the offset could be too much and it could be clipping the front of the wheel arch, which it can do with 12 inch wheels, definitely does with 13s, but on some 12s with a big offset and I think maybe five and a half, six J plus, they definitely foul the front of the wheel arches. Now, obviously on TARDIS, I do not want to be cutting the arches out. So um, I'm a bit of a numpty because I've taken all the subframe out. In fact, at the moment, it's just ready for spraying under the bonnet. And I'm thinking to myself, I need to get these wheels sent off. I need to get the shot blasting and powder coating done, but I've got to wait until I put the subframe back in. Sometimes I forget that I have more than one mini. <laughs> So in theory, I can just put the wheel on Sprout. Uh, it will be about the right ride height and just check if it fails on Sprout. If it doesn't fail on Sprout, it shouldn't fail on TARDIS either. So let's do that and make sure these wheels are okay. I've got a feeling they'll be exactly the same offset as the 12 inch wheels I've got on Sprout at the moment, but let's find out. So if I position the camera here, I should be able to turn the wheel and see how close it is. So let's try first with the alloy. It does get close, but it doesn't touch. So plenty of gap there. There is definitely more offset on those wheels. Right, so it does clear, although we've got quite a bit of arch gap. I think if the suspension was very low, you would be very, very close to rubbing on that corner. There's there's a good half inch, three quarters of an inch gap there. So I'm pretty confident they'll be okay, but they definitely have a different offset to the alloys. So just to double check, I can measure from the floor to the back of the face of the wheel. So, It's approximately four and a quarter inches with that. And it's four and a half. Yeah, about, about four and a half. Yeah, four and a half on the alloy. And four and a quarter. So the, the offset is definitely different. So this wheel, this wheel will stick out a quarter of an inch further, but it looks like that's just about okay. Uh, might be a little bit iffy if the suspension's lowered on it, um, but it's not going to be on TARDIS. It will uh, be set to the correct ride height and be adjustable. So yeah, pretty confident that'll be okay. So just to summarise quickly, uh, it's definitely worth checking before you do this. So the imp wheels are, they're physically wider than the standard steel wheels, obviously, uh, but the offset is wider than the sort of standard Rover alloy wheels as well. So they stick out further by about a quarter of an inch, I measured it. Um, and that is gonna cause you problems if you're running the car quite low. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll catch on that front arch. If you're running a, sort of a standard or slightly larger arch gap like I do on Sprout, I do have all my cars, I'm not really that worried about having them super low because I'm more sort of worried about clearing objects, objects and obstacles and speed humps and things like that. I think it'll be absolutely fine. Obviously the proof will be in the pudding when I actually put them on Sprout once it's all back to get on TARDIS once it's all back together. So I'm not gonna, sh I'm not gonna know for definite, but it looks okay anyway. So uh, thanks Mark Piper for giving me the warning. And again, thanks Paul Jeffries for sorting me out with the wheels. So there we go, always like an unboxing. So we have got four Falcon, I think that's pronounced ZX is it? So they're Falcon ZX ZE914 Eco Run tires. They are 165 60 12s and they're pretty good tires these. I've got the same tires on Project Sprout. Uh, fantastic deal from Ball Motif Mini. Not sponsored the video or anything like that, but now both times I've looked or I looked, I bought tyres for Vinny from there and they were the cheapest at the time. And again, when I looked this time, they were the cheapest as well. So it was £187 for four 165 60 12s and that included free delivery to my doorstep. And literally I ordered them one day and they turned up the next day. So they're fantastic on delivery as well. One thing that I am always cautious of on uh, buying new tyres so these Falcon tires are directional, so you've got to get them on the right way round. They'll see inside, they'll say inside and outside on the tire. I'm always a little bit cautious of the age of the tire as well, because if you buy cheap tires, they could have been sitting around for two years, three years, four years. I've certainly done that before. I've bought some cheap tires and they were over two years old. They do, you can tell they have a date stamp on them. So around on the sidewall, they will have a four digit number. Um, so this one says 0220, that's month and year. So these tyres, or that tyre, was manufactured in February 2020. We're in December now, so, um, so it's eight, nine months old. That's not too bad. As I say, just be careful you don't get really old ones. Uh, I mean, it must take some time for them to be manufactured, shipped and then sit on a shelf somewhere. That's 0220. <coughs> that is 0320, so that was a, produced in March, that tire. Uh, and that one is 0220 as well. So yeah, it's not a problem, um, but it's worth checking, make sure you're not getting old tires because um, the, the, obviously they could be new as in they're not being used but they've sat on a shelf for ages and the rubber goes hard and deteriorates but they're absolutely fine I don't know what the average age for a tyre is when you buy it new but it's so that's certainly within a year so no worries so that's about it for uh, this week's episode thanks for watching I appreciate it's not much of an update on the car but yeah I needed to check those wheels to make sure they didn't rub the front arches the wheels currently are not back from powder coaters yet, but as soon as they are back, I can get these tyres fitted, get the trims cleaned up, and they'll be then put away, ready to go back on the car when it's finished. So thanks for watching this week. Uh, have a great week. Cheers. Bye.